Well, boys, it's been a long six, seven, I think it's been six months since I've put out a video. And uh, I got a lot of explaining to do, but to be honest with you, I'm not going to do a lot of that explaining in today's video because today's video is about the 6 0 swapped cat eye here. Um, but I'll just give you a brief, brief rundown here before we get into the cat eye. So, you guys know I've been gone for, excuse the wind noise, sorry, I'm not on my GoPro. Uh, I've been gone from YouTube for, I don't know, about six months or so. After Indianapolis, we had the skid mark, aka the, the Turbo Silverado. We took it to Indianapolis and uh, we came back and everything changed. Um, everything changed. A lot of things changed in my life, Austin's life, I mean, everybody's life. And uh, we just did not have the time or really the drive to continue on with that build or what we were doing at that time. Um, and so up until this point, really nothing has happened. You know, I could have made, I could have tried to make some videos for you, but they, they would have been trash. Um, I wasn't about to just make a bunch of random videos, keep beating a dead horse on the cat eye not being done. I want, I wanted something to be done before I started back up. And then the cat eye has been going for about three weeks now, two or three weeks. But to be honest with you, I just didn't know how to get started back into it. And that's, uh, that's funny to even say because you know I started it started with the cat eyes the cat eye started this channel but uh, I guess this is how we'll kick it back off I'll show you guys all about the 60 swap cat eye now that it's back we still got a long ways to go on it but I'll show you where we're at right now um, and maybe later this week I'll film a video we'll go we'll be down, we'll go down to the shop and we'll talk about why we gave up on Skidmark why we stopped doing what we were doing um and what the future for the channel is uh from this moment forward so without further ado let's go ahead and start talking about this cat eye Alrighty, boys so if you guys have been here for a long time you know this is a 2004 silverado we've uh we've done a lot of things with this truck when i think i first first started the youtube channel it was on its original 5.3 then i built the 5.3 rode around with that for uh, about a year and then it blew up at Cletus and Cars. Um, that's kind of what kick-started the channel's big journey was after this truck blew up at Cletus and Cars. You can check that video out on the channel. But since then, it's really just sat here. And you know, you guys knew we were going to swap a 6.0 into it and we did. And we got it running, but we didn't get it running. Um, sorry if the wind's really bad, guys. It's just a windy day. It's winter time here now. Uh, and to be honest with you, it was over my head. So, you know, we put the Holly Terminator X system in it, and I'll show you in here. Of course, we'll start this thing up here in just a couple minutes, but we got the Terminator X kit. There's the computer. I gotta find a way to mount it up, up there so people can't kick it. Um, there's a little screen and everything. We'll show you guys that here once I get it started. But what the problem I was having was, I put in the holly and I was trying to figure out how to retain all of these interior features. I wanted the power seats to work. I wanted power locks, heated seats. Everything still needed to work, but I wanted the engine and trains to be controlled by the holly. And that was where it really got over my head. So once we got it to where it would start and halfway run, um, it needed a little bit of tuning help, some programming help. So uh, I took it to a buddy of mine um, who managed to cut out what we didn't need in a factory harness and uh, keep what we did need to where the holly here would run with the stock computer and everything in here would be retained like the power seats you see here still works all the HVAC controls still work the radio and that's what I wanted I, I didn't want to go full race truck here I, you know i wanted a very capable six liter and i wanted the holly's capabilities i just did not want to lose the drivability of the features of this truck so that's why this took so long because it took from that moment when it got dropped off there it took another month and a half two months to get it to where it's at now and it ain't pretty you see we got skid marks hood on it stock wheels there's a lot more to do here but it runs and drives and i have drove it I mean, drove it, drove it, like drove it into town, got the exhaust hooked up. Um, I've been on it a little bit and uh, it has a basic tune. You can drive it. Uh, it runs fine. It's safe. It's just not, 
not clean. It doesn't like to come to a stop and idle really well. Um, of course, it's very conservative. And I'm working with a guy that I found on the forums, the Holly forums, that uh, does some remote tuning and stuff. So I'm going to get with him and get this tune cleaned up, and then we can really run this thing. But uh, enough talking about it. Let me show you guys what's going on under the hood now. So, and you guys are going to hear it when we start it. When I pulled it out here, it threw the belt yesterday. I did a little thanksgiving day burnout out there in the road in it and uh, it chucked the belt off and the reason being is our power steering pump down here the pulley's messed up on it and uh the tensioner is just worn out and this belt's starting to come apart it's going to be chirping and squeaking when i go to start this thing you'll hear it but um what i got to do so you see a little bit of the belt messed up right there what i gotta do is i gotta change the power steering pump we still have the one from skidmark and i may even change the water pump to be honest with you skidmark has a brand new water pump that we had on them before we you know tore it back down and it looks way better than this whole thing this was the one that was on the cat eye originally so i think i'm gonna pull all this off get a new belt swap the power sharing pumps uh, and we'll have a whole new accessory drive here and uh, that's a i don't even know where that alternator came off of it was what we had down at the shop it works but if I've got a prettier looking one, we might go with that. So we've got the six liter here. It is an LQ4 60 with flat top pistons. Those are PRC heads, stage 2.553 heads. So we've got uh, we've got some good compression here between the flat tops and the tiny combustion chamber size. I think these are 60 cc on the combustion chamber. Your usual stock 60 heads are 72 or 74. Uh, we we got some good power possibility going on here uh inch and three quarter long tubes the cam is a texas speed cam i've got to go back and look up the specs because i gotta tell the guy that's tuning it what we got but i think it's the tooth it's like the 230 2 238 cam it's not one of their stage cams it's just a lsna cam so um i don't know where it racks up on their stages but tbss intake and 87 mil new body new body throttle body and uh all the goodies on the inside, like the LS7 lifters and uh, comp push rods, all that good stuff. So it's got it's got a good potential to be uh, to be pretty dang pretty dang powerful once we get it tuned up and running right. Sorry, I'm starting to get really windy there. I wanted to get you guys out of the wind. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to start this thing up here for it. I got something that keeps draining my battery. Let's see if it'll try to fire up for you guys. So. Let that thing quit dinging. <laughs> this is pretty cool. We had issues with the starter. That was the biggest thing we run into an issue on. So what we actually did was you turn the key on, but if you try to click it, it ain't going to start. Our starter is on a push button right here. So you literally... Oh, hell. All right, I had to do a little take two on starting it. Like I said, where the battery was dead, <laughs> it, it already went too dead to start. I had to put the jump pack back on it but uh what i was saying was once you got the key on then you can hit your starter button right here i got to give it a little bit of gas when i first start it and let it back back off kind of let the holly like boot up and read the air fuel before it'll let it idle so here we go so what i'm waiting for here is for it to flip over into closed loop and learning and then you can back off of it and it should idle by itself. There you go. So this screen right here, you can see everything you'd ever want to see on it. So if we come over here, let's see here. Dash one I have set up for my speed and my uh, tack. The speedometer no longer works because all the speed sensors are plugged into here out of the trans. So that ain't gonna work. Neither is the tack, but um, our gas gauge and our voltage still works up here. Everything else you're going to have to get from the Holly. So come back over here to our regular vitals page. Um, you can tune through this thing. It's way more intuitive through the laptop. We found that out. We were doing skin mark, but uh, we read this thing where I'll roll the windows down. I'll tell you, I'll do you one even better. Let me take you back here. And it's, it's a little rough. You can hear it's it's definitely a little rough on the idle it's very rich it needs some serious help on uh on the idle tune 
But when you rev it up, it cleans up pretty good. I'll roll down the window so you guys can hear it here. You can see all that smoke it shoots out from the fuel. You hear that belt chirping up there too. And I didn't rev it up cold. See, we're at 182. I've already warmed it up because I pulled it out from uh, pulled it out from the gravel park a lot there. So, yeah, when you nail it, you get that blue smoke from all that fuel being dumped at it. It needs some serious help on the tuning. Um, you can get it to and from, but hopefully that guy that I'm talking to can get us cleaned up here and uh, get us fixed up. So. Biggest thing I want to tell you guys was the cat eyes back running. We got we successfully put in a Holly Terminator and a GMT 800 truck. Uh, built six liter. It is a still that built 4060 we had before Cletus and Cars with a 3000 stall converter. Um, the rear end, long story on the rear end, but we're back with a 373. I'll discuss that in another video. You guys know I had built the rear end for it, but that's a sore subject we don't want to get into. Um, starting to get this video starting to get really long i don't want to keep talking to you guys to death here but uh once i gotta get this thing back down to the shop this week and uh once i do that and get the accessory drive switched over i'll take you guys on the first ride for it because i'm afraid it's gonna chuck that belt back off on another drive so i want to get that changed over once i do we'll go for the first drive in it in a first little rip we don't want to get on it too hard until we get a good safe tune put on um and you guys can kind of see how it pulls, but I can tell you from my little bit of time driving it, it is a powerhouse. I am super excited to get this truck dialed in, but it, it's nasty. The inside of this truck has got like a film of just oil and exhaust where it's set in the shop for two years while we built all that stuff and all that stuff starting. You get in here and you just climb out and smell like gas. I mean, it's it's just like the whole thing's dirty, nasty. I got to get this thing cleaned out, get get it back up to the level it was before we blew it up in Cletus and Cars. And uh, yeah, so here you guys go. I'm not dead. There were some people saying something about me being dead in one of the videos, but I'm not dead. Um, I'll explain later in another video why everything kind of quit. But I'm back now. The cat eyes back. I'm super excited for this truck. This is what started it all. The only reason this channel exists is because of this truck. This truck was the whole reason it started, the whole reason it grew to what it is today. Um, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for this truck and I'm thankful for the people. If, you, if you're watching this video, I'm really thankful for you because that means that you through this whole thing, you're still there. Um, and that, that's pretty amazing. But I don't expect this video to be huge by any means because, you know, we got to reel everybody back in and show show the followers that we're back so we'll we'll have some fun with this truck stay tuned you know don't be expecting another video in two days or three days it's going to be a lot slower for me to get videos out now but i promise you i'm back and i'm going to try to get us going here at least one one a week may get lucky and get two it just depends so i appreciate you guys watching as always i'm super hyped for this truck um drop any comments you got down below i'm gonna do my best to answer every single one just like i used to do because i know it's been a while uh, but keep in mind i'm gonna go over how all this got hooked up too so you, th there'll be videos on how the holly's hooked up how it works and you know all the features of that if you're curious about that i'll be happy to do an in-depth full out video on putting a holly in one of these trucks if you're interested in doing it so thanks again for watching appreciate you guys as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button take care have a great day